Just taking a quick video today of my 335 XI, putting inlets in today. Uh, it's actually day two of the job. Uh, got the rear inlet in there, and let me tell you, it is a pain in the butt. That rear inlet, I had to shift the engine around a little bit, put some uh, soap on it to get it in there and then that rear inlet when you put it on the turbo the clamp likes to pop right off and I don't know I played with that clamp for maybe three hours trying to get it to work I had to put some smaller clamps on it but uh, yeah I got the downpipes back in already oh. Trying to do this on jack stands ain't fun. I wish I had a lift, but yeah, down pipes are in. I'm working on uh, putting the O2 sensors in right now. Uh, yeah, not a fun job. And uh, while I was down here, I actually learned that the uh, looks like the rear main seal's leaking. Um. The front differential input shaft seems to be leaking. Let's see if I can go look at that sucker. And you can kind of tell it uh, comes down here on the, the differential. You can tell by the way it smells that it's, it's gear lube or gear oil, whatever you want to call it. Um, I also believe that the oil pan gasket is leaking in this thing, um, which being an XI, it's going to be a huge pain in the butt because obviously I got this differential in the way. Um, ugh, subframes don't drop down here. But yeah, it's okay. Look up in here. Yeah, there's the uh, picture of that rear inlet there. Yeah, that rear inlet. Let me tell you, the clamps that they give you with it, they're too big because the um, the lip on the the turbo is actually uh, it's actually smaller than the clamps. So when you clamp it, it just starts to pull the the inlet off but as you can see the inlets in there I get the light in there with that inlets in there still buttoning things back up still got to put the subframe back up and uh, you know, radiator a few other odds and ends and when you do these uh, these inlets you're gonna want to take off the uh, passenger side uh, engine mount uh, I'm just sorry about the quality I'm on a this car's not that high off the ground I mean it is for jack stands but I don't have a lift unfortunately but yeah if you ever buy a 330 or 330i or 335xi expect a lot of leaks I mean you got, I mean, I got seepage, like, everywhere on this darn thing. I mean, <laughs> it's, you know, not a fun car to keep up with. But if you got the time to do it, they're great cars. I mean, you can put, get a lot of horsepower out of these things. Great to mod. Upgrade the turbos, which eventually I'm going to have to do. Because I like running 22 PSI on stockers. So, those will eventually go out. But yeah, a lot of seepage, leakage. Yeah, the, uh, a lot of maintenance to this. Changed all the fluids out of it. Transmission stuff not too long ago. It's got about 76,000 on this car. Transmission's a little, a little iffy. Um, First and second gear, she likes to slip a little bit and 
being an XI, I'm just waiting for that worm gear and the uh, differential back there to go out. But I mean the transfer case, my bad. Um, but the mods on this car, uh, a six or seven inch uh, front mount intercooler, um, the down cat it, catless downpipes, um, dual cone intake. Uh, I got a JB4 in here with an E85 back end flash. Um, charge pipe with HKS, blow off valve, um, dual cone intake. Uh, got a um, you know, oil catch cam right here. Um, here's, a, here's a video of the, <laughs> the stock inlet. This is a rear one, just to kind of get a glimpse of how restrictive this thing is I mean look at this I can't, can't even get can't even get two fingers in here you know so yeah they're they're pretty restrictive out of the factory so inlets are well we'll see when I get this thing put back together but it should be a nice little kick in the butt I'm hoping especially all this time I've spent uh, working on this darn thing I'm actually on day two because of that uh, clamp. They give you clamps that are about this thick, which are are too thick for the um, for the uh, the lip on the rear turbo. Um, I know they make thinner clamps like this. With this, you don't get much clamping force. These are like German-made clamps. You actually can't find these at like any hardware store. I've, been to uh, Home Depot, uh, a lot of hardware stores around here, a lot of uh, auto places. But here's the standard size one. So, what I actually did to get that back one on there, I took a bunch of these and uh, I opened them all up. I put about four of them together to make a, a big circle. And uh, I used these because these are the only ones you can get that aren't that aren't thick. Like uh, like these. Well, you can tell that it's quite a bit uh, thinner, you know, so it can actually grab onto the the lip of the turbo without pulling this pulling the whole inlet off. So it worked out pretty good. I got it on there. It was a uh, pain in the butt. I did all the you know I brake cleaned it and uh, used the hairspray. Tried all kinds of tricks and it just couldn't couldn't get it to work. I also found out when I took my motor mounts off that uh, this bolt is bent and uh, you know I bought a, a couple couple different replacement ones. I don't know if these are gonna really work. I hope they do because this, this bolt's bent pretty good for the motor mount. That's uh, for the, the rubber one, not the one that goes into the side of the engine. But um, yeah, this is where I'm at with it. It's uh, it's definitely a project, and uh, you know, I I read on forums people do, saying that they do these inlets in uh, I don't know four or five hours. Man, it's, it's kind of hard to believe. The back one was the biggest pain. I couldn't figure out, there, it seems like there's two areas where the back inlet can actually go. And one seemed like it would pinch between the firewall and the transmission if I were to put it in that area. But it looked like it almost wanted to go in there when I lowered the engine and to get more room to work back there. But um, yeah, I, I went a little bit above that just because uh, it just looked like it was going to pinch the engine between the or the transmission between the firewall for the inlet um, yeah hopefully I'll have some videos up soon of uh, this thing working uh, <laughs> after I get all the subframe put back up and uh, everything back together which will hopefully be tonight I haven't really slept too much <laughs> but yeah, here's the front stock uh, inlet.
that one you, you don't have to uh, like cut this one because uh, if you take the radiator fan out you got you got tons of room to work in here and I mean there's just one bolt if you have an automatic there's um, one bolt that holds that transmission cooler onto the uh, fan shroud but um, if you have a manual you won't have that transmission cooler so you actually be able to just slide the whole fan up and out and you could pretty much do the front without even jacking the car up if you wanted to um, but yeah got all my stuff over here my sawzall that I used to cut the rear one out but you want to be careful when you do that because there's um, there's an oil line uh, that goes to the turbo that's pretty close to that inlet uh, for the stock plastic ones and uh, you don't want to obviously cut that one or any of the heat shielding around it so keep that in mind when you're cutting because uh, you know, those sawzalls they can go crazy especially when you can't really see too too much of what you're cutting when you're underneath there but yeah, it's uh, where I'm at, it's all the tips I really got, and uh, when you lower the engine, I, I wouldn't lower it too much, because, uh, you know, you get all these hoses that are hooked up to it, uh, this bottom coupler here for the, my uh, front mount intercooler was kind of bending, but not like, too horrible I guess uh, I loosened the bottom clamp so it would uh, you know kind of slide up and down a little bit so it wouldn't uh, rip the, uh, the coupler but yeah she is just did the oil filter housing gasket and the valve cover gasket not long ago but yeah all the gaskets like to go out around eh, 70 70,000 on these things water pump went out I'm at 52 high pressure fuel pump went out at 50 53 I think um, other than that I mean you know, they're high maintenance cars but when they're running good you can do a lot of fun stuff with these so alright well if you got any questions about it leave a comment and uh, have a good day.